Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the first part of GATE General Aptitude Series. In this particular series, we are going to take questions from previous years of GATE exam and I will give you more questions of similar type so that you can practice similar types of questions. Also, we will discuss questions on the basis of tricks. So, basic mathematics we all know but how to do these questions with a trick method or how to do similar types of questions, those things will be included in this particular video, right? and the whole series is going to be dedicated for the same so today the topic or the today what type of question we are going to take are continuous percentage based question or also called as successive percentage based question all right this is the part one of this particular series i hope that you guys will shower enough love on this particular series and i will continue making videos for this particular series as well all right so without wasting any time let's continue with the video and let's go to the first so the first question over here was asked in gate 2020 exam it says that there are five levels p q r s t in a linear supply chain before a product reaches customer as shown in the figure so we have p q r s t and it reaches to the customer it says that at each of the five levels the price of the product is increased by 25 percent uh, of the product and if, if the product is produced at level p that means over here if the product is produced at the cost of 120 rupees that means the cost of the product is 120 rupees over here then what is the price paid in rupees by the customer what price this customer is paying so basically if i summarize everything so the uh, the item or the the, uh, the substance or whatever they are telling you is basically of rupees 120 here okay 120 rupees and then you are increasing 25 percent on every step so you have increased 25 percent over here then again you have increased 25 percent for r then again you have increased plus 25 percent for s and plus 25 percent for t then again plus 25 percent for uh, the customer when it reaches to the customer so what they are asking is how much money the customer has to pay now so to do these type of question these are called as successive uh, successive percentage based question so to do this type of question there is a very simple trick which we generally follow so i will first of all tell you about the trick and then we will get back to this question so this successive percentage based questions uh, are done in this way so these are like these type of question will be done in two cases one will be if you are having a successive increment like percentage increment if you are doing just like the previous question which we have seen that every at every stage you are increasing by 25 percent or it can also be having percentage decrement where you will be decreasing the value by a certain amount after every stage or there is one more thing that is you can also do mixed kind of thing where you are increasing and decreasing both in the subsequent steps so to do this type of question there are few things which we get we have to know the first thing is we have to consider that let the initial let the initial uh, value or price or whatever it is that the initial value of product whatever it is is x okay so let's say that the initial value is x then uh, second thing is if the increase or decrease on every step on every step is a percent b percent c percent and so on i'm just taking three example like three as the one you can have multiple five ten any number of uh, numbers here so these are the increment or decrement which is happening this much percentage increment or decrement is happening then then your final value your final value will be equal to x in the bracket 1 plus a upon 100 into 1 uh, sorry it should be plus or minus both okay 1 plus minus b upon 100 then 1 plus minus c upon 100 now i have given a general equation where i have written plus and minus both so you have to note that note that for increment for increment you have to use plus sign and for decrement you have to use minus all right so this is the whole idea uh, to find out the final value 
So this is the trick. This is the thing which we have to use. Now let's say if you have five things uh, A, B, C, and then you have something in going four steps or five steps, you will keep on adding that one plus minus D by hundred, one plus minus E by hundred, and so on. All right. So this is how it will be done. I'll get back to the question and see. Let's let's see how that question will be done. Now if we come back to this question over here, your initial value that is X is one twenty rupees according to this. And your subsequent changes that is A is 25%, then B is also same, right? C is also same, D is also same, E is also same. Means on every step you are increasing 25%. So basically everything is equal to 25. So what formula we will use that final value is equals to uh, it will be x times of 1 plus because you are increasing, so that's why I will use plus sign 1 plus A upon 100 into 1 plus b upon 100 into 1 plus c upon 100 into 1 plus d e upon 100 into 1 plus e upon 100 now because five times we have done that's why i have added five terms now because all of these are same a b c d e all of them are same in that case you can simplify this equation as 1 plus a upon 100 to the power 5 why i have done this because the values of a b c and d are same if these values are different then you cannot do like this since the values are same all of them are equal to 25 that's why i can do like this now i can put the values to get my final value so 120 and it is 1 plus 25 upon 100 whole to the power 5 if you solve this now since it is a gate exam you can use calculator to do it so 120 into 1 plus um, and this will become basically 1.25 to the power 5 if you solve this whole this is going to come up to uh, 366.21 which is your option number D and that's how you got your answer so this is the trick way or this is the way of using the trick and getting the correct answer um, the usual method is like you can calculate 25% of 120 you can add that it to it then you will get the value of Q then again find out 25% of that add into it you will get the value at R and so on you have to do that five times to get the value which the customer are going to get but this is a trick and like this we will be able to get the answer in just simple steps i will show you one more question uh, which is uh, like which can be done on the same concept and then i will give you some questions for practice of yours so let's say this question over here it says that the strength of a school increases and decreases in every alternate year by 10% now it is started with increase in 2000 then the strength of the school in 2003 is compared to that in 2000 how much okay so what basically they are trying to say that there is a school which started uh, the increase in like increase and decrease in alternate year and it all started started in 2000 so when they went in 2001 in that case they have increased their um, strength by 10 percent when they went from 2001 to 2002 they have decreased their strength by 10 percent that's why i'm writing minus 10 here and then when they went from 2002 to 2003 again they have increased their strength by 10 percent so you only have to tell you up till 2003 okay so what is happening what what basically is the change in the strength from 2000 to 2003 that's what you have to answer so whenever you are given with certain these type of question where initial value is not given to you and uh, they are asking you uh, something in the form of percentages the terms are not in the term form of numbers but in the form of percentages itself in that case it is very well advised that you should take initial value you should take initial value as 100 this will make your thing very easy this will make your calculation very easy okay so let's say the initial value is 100 then 10 percent increase then 10 percent decrease and then again 10 percent increase and you have to tell what will happen in 2003 so let's use the uh, the trick to do this so our final value our final value will be initial value that is x and it is 1 plus a upon 100 now a is 10 here okay then into 1 minus b upon 100 now why minus because this is decrement here then 1 plus uh, c upon 100 5 plus because again it is increment right so we will write down the value of x which is initial value which is 100 this is 1 plus 10 upon 100 this is 1 minus 10 upon 100 and this is again 1 plus 10 upon 100 so if you solve this this will come up 100 
into 1.10 into 0 0.90 into 1.10 if you solve all of these you will get 108.9 now this is the value which you are going to get finally so initially when you were in 2000 the value was 100 and when you reached 2003 the value is 108.9 so how much increase or decrease has happened so what basically it has happened it is increased right so option b and option d are incorrect now how much it has increased it has increased by a value of 8.9 so for 108.9 is the 8.9 percent of it right so that's why the correct answer will be option number a which says it is increased by 8.9 percent now things became easy for us because we have taken initial value as 100 if we would have taken some other number we should have converted that in percentage later on but because we have started from 100 it is very simple just by looking into the numbers we can answer the correct option right so this is how this question needs to be done now i have done two question based upon similar concept which is successive percentage concept and i hope that now you have understood the concept you have understood the trick how to apply it and now i will give you some questions so that you can practice yourself right so this is the first question as a homework for you it says that after three successive equal percentage raise in the salary of some rupees 100 it turned to 181 rupees and 58 paisa approximately find the percentage raise in the salary at one time increase so what they are trying to ask is let's say there is some initial value which is which was 100 rupees so from here you have raised it three times okay three successive so let's say this is the first successive increase then this is the second successive increase and this is the third successive so after first successive we don't know how much percentage they have increased so let's say this is a percent and all are same okay equal percentage so again a percent and a percent so when you have three times equal percentage raise you have done you have reached to a value of 181.58 right that is what we have reached it says find the percentage raise in the salary at a one time increase the first thing is to find out this value of a that what exactly the percentage increase you are actually trying to do here okay and uh, that's what you have to calculate okay so you are given with the initial value which is 100 you are given with the final value also which is basically 181.58 and what you have to tell is what or how much percentage increase you are doing okay so that is the thing and this can be simply done uh, based upon the first question similar to the first question which we have done in today's video okay so similar to that you have to do try to do it this is homework number one let me know in the comment section what answer you have got okay now i will give you one more homework one more question as a homework so this is homework number two it says two successive price increase of 10 percent and 10 percent of article is equivalent to a single price increase of how much so that means there is some article you don't know what that price is okay some initial price and what it is being done you are increasing 10 percent for it you are reaching to some value and then again you are increasing 10 percent of it again so you are getting some final value what they are trying to ask you how much if you increase from initial to final directly okay how much percentage increase you should do directly to reach from initial to final instead of going to uh, for two steps what you should do in one step to reach here now again this question is similar to the second question which we have done but asked in a different way so again what you have to do take initial value as 100 okay find out the final value whatever you are getting and then that percentage increase or that percentage value is going to be the uh, equivalent single price increase okay, in the percentage form. so these were the two questions which are homework for you for this particular video i hope you have understood the concept and i hope you all will be able to answer these two questions i am looking forward for your answers in the comment sections below that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take hey care. guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription 
so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much